Hi everyone, a few videos ago I shared with you the new Daniel Smith half pan sets, especially the colors of inspiration which I have. And since then I've been playing with the paints which are really nice. The palette is terrible but the paints are very nice and in particularly the moon glow because I really like how it granulates. So I wanted to show you exactly how it granulates and um, unfortunately I should have used a better quality paper to show you all the different effects that it has but this should show you a bit uh, how the colors separate it turns into a light pink although I'm not sure if you can see it very well in this video so if you use a lot of water and the more water you use the more granulation with, will happen because the pigments will be lifted by the water and as the water evaporates then they'll settle down on the paper and they'll form a random pattern so anyway if you use a lot of water with the moon glow color you'll see that the pigments that are in it start separating and you'll end up with a little bit of pink outside of a dark bluish purplish color which is really really pretty Unfortunately, I don't think you can see it very well in this video and also the fact that I didn't use a very very good paper to demonstrate didn't help much but it gives you an idea of what it looks like. So I thought it would be fun to use this color as a sky color, a winter sky, uh, maybe during or towards the end of a snowstorm and add a little blue jay because now that winter is coming back I start seeing more and more blue jays in my yard. So that's what I did and I really had fun doing that sky but in the end I'm not quite sure if it was the right color to choose because it looks to me like the the sky looks too pink or purple and I'm not sure if I like it or not. But I must say I really really like the moon glow color. Uh, I think I'm going to use it quite often. I think it would be great also in shadows and I'm definitely going to add it to my regular color palette. So what do you think of this color? Uh, have you ever used it before and how do you use it if you use it? I've seen some artists really taking advantage of the fact that it granulates a lot and they do beautiful paintings with it. So I think I'm going to try to explore it a little bit more to see what I can do with it. And for the rest of the painting, the blue jay and the branch, I tried to use as many colors that came in that little uh, Daniel Smith set as possible. Uh, I added a few extra ones because I needed them, but most of the colors were from that set. And again, because the palette really stinks, I'm going to move those half pans to another palette and probably toss that piece of junk in the recycle bin. So thank you everyone for stopping by. I hope you liked this little video. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.